attorney Jonathan Elson, reminding you that if you've been injured in an auto accident, it's important to have somebody on your side. When you need a lawyer, when you need Nelson. You need Nelson. Teresa Icampero called News 46 exclusively to report that the shotgun her estranged husband, Jeffrey Stevens, took to a local thrift store that she owns was found around 2 o'clock this afternoon in a grassy area near her store. The gun was reportedly covered with recently cut grass and weeds that was presumably stashed there by Stevens last Tuesday. Meanwhile, Jeffrey Stevens was remanded to the custody of the sheriff's office today by Judge Kent Jasperson, who told the defendant he's facing a whole bunch of new charges. Stevens is now accused of resisting a public officer, disobeying a public officer, battery, and robbery. The 46-year-old was arrested after police searched for him for allegedly stalking and harassing his estranged wife, who had an extended restraining order put on the suspect. Stevens even reportedly attacked a police officer in the family home last Tuesday after entering without consent. The suspect then took what's assumed to be this shotgun to a local thrift store that his his wife owns, but Stevens fled on foot after he couldn't make contact with her. Stevens was finally tased and arrested last Thursday on Dahlia Street after assaulting another officer. Stevens was also recently held on drug charges and was out on bail. This morning, the district attorney's office commented on the severity of Stevens' charges. On the most recent charges for which Mr. Stevens was arrested, he is being held on standard bail. However, he was adjudicated on a previous domestic battery case, and it's my understanding the judge is holding him no bail on that until his attorney can appear and uh, address the court. Um, he's facing charges of battery on a protected person, uh, violations of protective order, so uh, yeah, they're all very serious. <laughs> so we're going to screen it and determine what's appropriate and go from there. In Capero called the Nye County Sheriff's Office to report that the suspect's alleged gun was found on her property. Stevens' formal arraignment hearing is set for December 30th. This is Unette Gentry reporting for News 46.